Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the bench. Uh, today, we're going to be testing the Display ESP that is Portable Electric Grinder. Now, uh, I did like very much, let me reach for it here. Here it is. The uh, Display, this is the little sander, the reciprocal sander that goes back and forth. And uh, this was a quality tool. I, I liked it very much. And uh, good feedback from you guys who got one or had one. And, um, yeah, really good tool. Uh, nothing bad to say about it. And that other little one that I just tested, too. Those are those are nice tools for the bench. This is a bit different. This is like a drill um, with a grinding tool on the end. And uh, we'll see how powerful it is and uh, if it's worthy of purchase. Um, let me see what I paid for this. Hold on. I got my receipt behind me here. All right. I just checked my invoice. It was 42 bucks. Uh, on Prime, I think it came overnight. Um, it's a sticking point for me, the price. But portability, sometimes you guys might like it. I'm going to show you an incredible alternative. And I have a reason for that. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look. How it ships. I imagine this is our charging cable. Yep, oh, nice one. At least they give us a nice cable. Oh, there's the bit. I guess this is to put the bit on. It should have went with a quick lock type of thing. And a uh, well, a very nice cable, branded. Check that out. I'm probably going to charge this baby up. So let me, uh, how do we open this up? Let me grab one of my blades here. I'm open this up nice and neat. One end, two end. There we go. All right, let's check this out. Ah, well, their branding is correct. Here's my display uh, ball vise, which I love this thing. This is a quality product from them. This was 100 bucks, but it actually feels like it's 100 bucks, you know? And there we go. All right, it shows what these lights are on the side. Here we are. All right, so a battery indicator is on the bottom, the three. And the top is uh, RPM. All right, so it's three speeds. And what are these other three then? Overload indicator. So that must be the battery uh, strength. I guess it's going to go up to overload. Are you going to overload this thing? Load indicator is four grades. Yep. All right. So to combine the two, I don't know if that's something we need on this tiny little thing. I don't know what you're going to overload it. Uh, all right. Let me charge it up. So uh, I have a cable that matches this. This is USB C. Hold on. I charge all my phones and products here. Yeah, all right, so let me charge this up, and uh, I'm going to pause the camera. I'll go about 20 minutes. We'll see how long that takes, and we'll come back, and we'll run it through some tests. All right, guys, I'm back. It is full. It came almost fully charged. It was like two or three in. Uh, about 15 minutes went by, and we are fully charged. I know the last one, it says it didn't light up, but that's, uh, that's red for overloading it. So let's go ahead and uh, take that out. Now let's try it without uh, putting any bit in it. Let's try it. So that turns, oh wait, you gotta hit quickly, I guess, for, yep. Let's try three, quickly. It is quiet. It is really quiet, I'll give it that. All right, let's go ahead and check out this bit. One of the sticking points for me is it only comes with this one bit. And we're going to find out if it fits other bits. That's a that's a problem for me if it doesn't. I don't know if it fits in perfect. Let's get our little wrench. And uh, we'll see what we got here. Oh, that's it. All right. I have other bits here. Let me show you what I got. Some polishing wheels and uh, all kinds of stuff. So we'll see if it's the same shank size. If it isn't, shame on them. However, I went to the site and it says bits are coming soon. So they're going to be releasing bits. Personally, they should have released them right away. Uh, that's just me. But anyway, uh, on with the test. All right, so let's get some of the clearing some of this out of the way. And there we go. I'm going to get some plastic here. And will it stand up on its own? It will not. Nope, it won't stand up. 
All right, let's get some plastic. I got a little block of balsa wood here. I got a hardened paint stick stirrer here. Stir paint stick. So let's uh, let's pop some of the some of these pieces off here. There's nothing really flat. I want to go long. Man, let's try this right here. And yeah, we don't have to get too nice with this, right? I'm gonna be grinding it down. So I guess this is good if you want to make channels or holes. I wonder if it could take little auger bits like this. That'd be really cool. And we can make little damage holes without using uh, drill bits. What are we going to try in here? Let's go with this leg here. I mean, this foot here. There we go. And then, of course, we have the wood, too. I'll keep that right here. And I got a piece of PLA from a 3D printer from my buddy. Tony at the deli that I eat at weekly for the last 20 years. He's into 3D printing. So we'll see if we can take down this ridge here. This is a piece of PLA. Anyway, we'll start with plastic. I don't know if I'm gonna... Wow, it is... It is pretty powerful, man. Look at chunking that thing right up. Wow! I think it's... Let's go faster here. I think it's because of the, the style of the bit. Let's see if we can cut right into this. Oh, for sure. Yep. Let's go high speed here. One, two, three. I'm going to try to hold this stiff here. I mean, it's going to melt the plastic, but check that out. That is powerful. So, unfortunately, let me get a micro cloth here. I got a giant micro cloth here. So looks like it's Xbox green colored. Uh, let's see. Making sure it's off here. Yeah. yeah, you can clean out the blade pretty good. I would say the old dollar store uh, toothbrush is your best cleaning tool. Anyway, that went well. <laughs> Look at that chunk it took in. Well, no, this is the same thing. Same type of plastic, maybe a little different. We'll go halfway here. No, I wouldn't use this for taking nubs, absolutely not. But if you're going to uh, put in like an, if you're going to put it, it's hard to say, but if you want to come in, like you want to put a channel in something, that's what I say this is for. I don't know about bullet hole type damage. You'd have, let me see. Yeah, it, it'll, it carves right in. It's pretty impressive. Um, all right, let's go high speed here. One, two, three. And let's see if it works on some PLA. Oh yeah, right down. Look at that. This is probably great for uh, 3D printing. I like the groove here where you can put your finger. I like that. I like the portability. Because the one I'm going to show you guys isn't as portable, that's for sure. Wow, it'll... Now, see, you got to be <laughs> careful. It's pretty powerful. Um... But you got, I was, I was right about to say, you got to kind of grip everything and get a, a feel for the tool, which is, you know, proper for everything. But I didn't know how it was going to react to the PLA, and uh, pretty good. I'm smoothing this thing right out, this line that it had on it. Yeah, fairly impressed. Let me, uh, all right, let me clean this off again. Get some of this out of the way. Uh, no problem it's going to have here with balsa wood, I imagine. Fun fact, balsa wood is the hardest tree in tree form. And it's the softest wood once it's uh, prepped. Yeah, it's, um, let's go high speed here. It's pretty good, man. It's it's got some power behind it. I'm making a mess here. Let's try it on the hardened wood. Hold on one second. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's getting the job done. I'm kind of impressed. Um, all right, let me dust all this off. Let me show you guys can see this dust. Can you see it? Ugh. Um, one of the tools I'll be testing actually is a dust collector. So maybe uh, I should have did it. With I know what I'm going to use when I test that product. Uh, yeah, let me sweep this off, and we're going to see if other bits fit in it, and then I'll show you my favorite alternative. All right, guys, we cleared it off a bit. Let's get the packaging back up here. All right, let's take this bit out, and uh, let's see if it fits other bits. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to show you a great alternative for this. Make sure it's not warm. No, it's pretty good. Oops. I didn't do enough. Should be, though. Hold on one second. Yep, she don't. Oh, it's two. Check this out. It's two hex nuts. I didn't realize that. There we go. All right, now let's see if it can hold these other bits. No. Now, it said these are three millimeter, and all the standard is 3.2. She no fit. Hold on. No. Uh, it's a standard, so I don't think I'm, it's going to be why bother going through all of these if it's a standard, right? It doesn't matter, you know? There's a nice little buffing. Uh... Oh, it fits that. All right. So this is a buffing tool, so to speak. See it? It's like a buffing drum. So let's try that. I wonder why it has two of these. That's pretty cool, though, I guess. We can center it off. All right. There we go. All right. I'm not prepared to buff anything, but let's see. Let's see if we can shine this up without anything. Yeah, that's actually uh, doing its thing. Now it's something buff it too much. It's actually taking it down the sides. My buddy uses these for weathering. And he told me about this kit that comes with all this stuff. He Actually, you think it's used for buffing, but he uses it for weathering. Now I can kind of see why. It really beats something up with that. Hey, but it fit this. Let's see if it fits anything else in this bag. Which is pretty cool. There's 50 pieces in this bag, by the way. Um, mostly you can buy them for uh, uh, cleaning, buffing, and whatnot. You know, which is good if you got the kits with these nice soft wheels, if you got um, uh, kits, car kits, you know, if you're going to buff the car kits up. But I, I don't see it fitting these other ones. Yep, yep, it'll hold them. So, yeah, this uh, this buffing set, I'll have to look it up where I got it. I got it a couple years ago, so it's got to be on my invoice on Amazon. So it'll fit, it'll fit. So, however, I think the problem is... Look at all the dust flying off this thing. I'm going to clean this room now for a week. Don't buy these. I don't even know if I want to put these in to recommend them. These look better. Anyway. But the good news is it fits these. But I don't believe if it didn't fit the ones made for, uh, I guess it's my Dremel, which is where we're going to show you next. Um, let's pop this out. And let me show you my Dremel tool, which I think is a better alternative. Now, if the price was cheaper I'd say go for it now the portability of this is it's tough to beat it's tough to beat but here's my stylo now the stylo isn't cordless they make some cordless Dremels but unfortunately they're they're bigger than this I like this because it's like it's it's that pen shape you know it even has the spot for your thumb to go but uh, let's turn it on and you dial it in way more powerful but this fits the standard. It's got the chuck tool right here. So I can do it without on uh, using um, a wrench. And then uh, it's got variable speed all the way up to five. You don't have to worry about charging it. And it fits all the bits. Obviously, it'll fit these uh, bigger auger bits, which didn't fit in that. But the polishing tool did fit. God knows why. Let's see if we can take this off here. And I can show you what we're doing. I'm going to do next. I need to get the wrench for it. Hold on, guys. Let me take this blade off. All right. We got her off. Just had to get my plier. You lock it in here. Take her off like that. Now let's see if it fits the bigger bits, which I believe it does. Yes, there you go. So I don't have to go that far in. Let's lock it in with my thumb here. And... Oh, oh hold on. There we go. All right, we are in, back on. Now with this, 
we can go ahead and a little more precise actually that carved right in look at that so all the tools fit in this the little burr tool so uh I, and look how tiny this one is check this one let me turn this off look at that one so uh yeah i mean uh, i think i paid 52 for this within 10 bucks uh it's a tough sell i do love the product i like display let me get this dremel out of here um but yeah uh I'll put a link for both, the Dremel style. I did a video on this a few years ago. I love this thing, but uh, maybe we'll do another video. We'll, we'll show all the bits that it works with, and uh, not these. I'm not even going to put the link up for those. Wow, well, those are a mess. There's a reason why those are cheap. These are probably the good ones. This is from Chicago Tools, so this is a much better buffer. So uh, stick with that for sure. Um, yeah, but I'll put a link up for both. They're both on Amazon, actually. That's where I got them both. But uh, the adjustability on this... Is better. It's obviously it's got more RPMs. It's not going to run out of juice because you don't have to recharge it. But this is a nice tool. I mean, it is tiny. I mean, it it is, which is a very uh, high selling point, you know. And if you're doing minor work, it's good. But within that price range of less than ten bucks, between the two, uh, it's it's a tough sell. But I will put a link to both. Uh, I imagine it's not going to have the RPMs to cut like this has a cutting. I had to cut something in my kitchen, I believe. That's why this tool is in there. And uh, it, it cut right through what I, what I was doing. I was fitting the dishwasher or something like that. So going back a couple of years. But anyway, um, I'll put a link for both. And uh, yeah, choose the one you want. I would take the Tremel over it, like I said, solely on uh, price point alone. But it is a good tool. I mean, I love their other tool. This uh, reciprocal sander is really, really awesome. Um, so, they are making quality products. Anyway, guys, that is the video. Just a quickie today. And uh, I want to tell you uh, about a sale. My paints are on sale. That's why I put them out here. Uh, we got 10% off. Good till tomorrow night for uh, individuals. And 15% off on the sets. And if you buy the full set of my new metals paints, the gold, the aluminum, the uh, copper, copper, uh, those are going to be 15% off, and you'll be entered in the contest, which is uh, coming up uh, within a week. I think we're going to close out the contest. Everybody that buys a full set of uh, medals will be entered in the contest. We're going to give away two, two airbrushes, a couple of model kits, a kit from Gundam Base, a rare kit. Uh, really nice prize, like the last time. And then we're going to introduce my new paints, which are coming very, very soon. Hopefully within two weeks, we're looking at maybe uh, first week of August. My tricolors will be coming out. And uh, so there you go. So uh, I'll put a link below for them. 10% off individual colors. They're all individually available. Or 15% uh, off if you buy whole sets. Here's my anodized colors. You guys have probably seen the videos by now. Beautiful, flat, smooth, anodized metal colors. This is all uh, the color set. And this is the actual metal sets. The silver, aluminum, that's what that is. So there you go. That is that. And coming up, please subscribe so you guys and hit the notification so you guys know when videos are coming up. But coming up, we're going to be airbrushing the gold leaf paint out of this pen. And we're going to do a shootout here of sorts with these uh, colored chromish markers. I already did the Molotow paint, paint, Molotow ink through the airbrush. That was this right here. And uh, I sprayed a bunch behind the scenes. i got to let them dry a long time because we're going to see what kind of clear coating can go on top. That's going to be a separate test in and of itself. And like I showed you, the other multi-set is coming up. We're going to test all these different colors and see how that goes because that box is only about 20 bucks. And to get all these plated colors uh, in a set for airbrushing is a really good deal. So uh, we're hoping those turn out as good as it looks when they are put on in marker form. Uh, and that's it. I got a few more things to go. I'm not going to, uh, well, I, I got a spray booth, two spray boots coming up to test this weekend. Uh, they're kind of like portable spray boots. Uh, you'll see in the video, it's a little bit different, uh, much, much more on the cheaper side, believe it or not. Uh, even when you add the motor, the exhaust motor, which I bought, so I can show you guys in the video uh, how we're going to do that. So I got two spray boots coming up, probably in the same video, a smaller one and a larger one. 
and uh, that's coming up probably this weekend and uh, so there you go anyway please like i said like the video subscribe if you haven't already as we march up to 100,000 with a huge giveaway speaking of giveaways once we reach that milestone um and there you go anyway guys have a great rest of your week we will see you over the weekend all right and uh thank you so much you guys are absolutely the best i love you guys uh i'll meet you over my patreon channel i got more stuff i'm going to be selling and a lot of this stuff gets uh put up for sale for my patrons last sale went really good i dug out some more stuff as i cleaned this room out because i'm trying to uh, hook up my stereo and i got these new clips speakers my denon all-in-one stereo there and my uh all my power metal and prog metal CDs are behind me. So uh, once the uh, camera goes down, the music goes up. And that's what we've been doing a bit here behind the scenes. Anyway, guys, we've talked too long. Uh, I'll put up links for everything. Don't forget my paint sale. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great rest of your week. God bless you all.